right, guys. So it is time for January's budget meeting, and I'm like trying to do this ASAP so I can get started in my budget planner. So I can't do that until after we do this. It's just how it works. So <sighs> you ready to get started? I'm ready. Alrighty. Well. Okay, there we are. Alright, so <laughs> why is this working? Oh, I have to do it backwards. That's weird. Okay. Rent and water is going to be five seventy per usual. Cable and internet is going to be one oh four ninety seven. Electricity, I'm budgeting eighty dollars for that. I think that will be good. As of now, this is kind of like a rough draft though, because we won't find out what the exact electricity bill will be until like January the second. They've, they've been around that. Yeah. Phone bill seventy five seventy five. That's gonna be due on the thirtieth because now we're paying our bill at the end of the month, which is technically what's supposed to happen anyway. I'm doing zero for my allowance again. Again. I didn't spend I mean, we bought the like this stuff, but that didn't come from my allowance. That was a business expense. A Marcus allowance is going to be a hundred dollars. Do um, seventy five. No. Huh? No, because I tried to do seventy five in December and you're and you're right under one hundred. So that's just setting us up for failure. All right, all right. Your haircut, 15, no dates, donations and gifts. Um, I have a birthday. And I'll probably do another giveaway, so 100 there. Toiletries, $30. Bahamas, this is January will be the month that I'm going to the Bahamas. And so this is going to include just like spending money. Obviously, food and such is included. So that's going to be like spending money and gas money, which isn't going to be much and like those kind of small things. So I actually hope to be under here. Miscellaneous, we're going to do 50 this month per usual. Personal trainer, 240 gym, 1999 Those are our regular gym fees. Um, you have to go to the dentist on the 2nd. And I'm assuming your copay will be, well, you'll have to pay for that fluoride. I pay when I go. <laughs> You're going to have to pay for that fluoride treatment part of it anyway um on the 18th i will go to the dentist to finish up this procedure that i've been talking about for forever and so my dental insurance policy will you know the benefits will renew in january so i'm not supposed to pay anything but i just put that at 100 for right now i'll confirm with them after the first of the month because we have to wait until the first of the month until it like renews to see what is going to be covered but Apparently, it's supposed to be covered is what they told me. And it's like a crown. I have to get a crown, basically, is what it is. Gas is going to be 120 This will not include Bahamas gas. You see that? <laughs> this will not include Bahamas gas or whatever. This will just be our regular gas, which we've been doing about 120 or which we've always done about 120 Car maintenance, I need to get all of that done on my car. Brake pads replaced front and back. Need an oil change. I need an oil change. You need an oil change. And then I'll have to get a tire rotation this time. So all of that's going to be not quite $400, but I am just overestimating a little bit. Probably be around like $340, $350, hopefully. This mouse is not working out that well. Okay. Let's get the job done. Car insurance. We won't have to pay that until June. So nothing there. Mm -hmm. Life insurance, our policies are going to be $42.19. They're due on the same day, same company. Renter insurance is going to be $14.33. Groceries, I'm going to do $200. Restaurants is going to be a real stretch at $50. Look at that miscellaneous $50. So. We're going to have to do better. We're going to have to do like what we were doing when we first started out because. Yeah. What's that? that was like little to none in restaurants. Well, you got zero in dates. Well, yeah. So yeah. Typically, we come under in groceries and we kind of use that, but we'll see. It's January. I think that'll be fine because I'm committed to a new lifestyle. I don't know about you. Student loans, 
$100.28 for my minimum payment. We're going to be working on yours. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is something I need to talk about. So that will be about $4,000 towards yours. And so if we didn't have the Bahamas and the car and blah, 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 which some of that money will come from the car maintenance sinking fund, this would be about $5,000. But we are low-balling it for our income or especially for his because November and December weren't the greatest for income. So we're just going to lower that to accommodate that. If it's higher, which every time I lower it, it's always higher. It's so annoying. We'll just go with that. I mean, if we bring in more money, obviously we will try to hit our $5,000 um, goal for his student loans. Um, and this won't be accurate because some of the money will come out of that to pay off our car. Oh, wrong way. And then money will come out of these two to help pay off our car as well. So essentially this will be what we will transfer. Well, we'll use this for part of our car maintenance or all of it, depending on how much it actually is. Make sense? Hold on, let me see. Go back up to go back up. Alright, well, where's three thousand somewhere? Where was that? All right, for the emergency fund, and then he says we're taking. Right, this is technically. Is that where that two was coming from? Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yes, sir. Right. And then down here in the car maintenance sinking fund. What'd you say about that? I said we will use this for our car maintenance in January and then we will oh, for the oil changes and, stuff. and the, all of the stuff that I need. Not really your oil change, but really my work because your oil change or whatever is like not that expensive. I right. mean, you get what I'm saying? We're going to probably use more than this, possibly. Yeah, I was about to say because you got 400 up there. Yeah, so we'd have to take 100 from our from our regular income. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, because that's a sink fund. That's for when, yeah, when stuff pops up. Okay, so I need to talk to you about something. So, this year, I've worked in two states. I've had three jobs. You've had two or three jobs. We're now married and all of that good stuff. So, I was thinking that because we don't exactly know how, like, in, like, taxes mm -hmm. I was thinking that maybe <clears throat> instead of us actually putting this money on putting the four thousand dollars on the call on your student loans that we would actually am I going the right way save it for taxes well we would just put it aside and wait until we finish filing our taxes because I'm trying, normally I wait for forever and he does too, but I, I think we should, we should get it done and as soon as possible. Yeah. In January and like, see, at least if see we have how, all much, of our, how much we'd have to do, have to come up with, and then we can like, proceed, but I don't, that up, put that to the side and then do what we usually do, wait till April. So we probably won't file until February. I would assume we would have all of our documents and then our student loans and the interest for that and blah, blah, blah. So we have to wait for all of those forms. So I was thinking we would just put this or whatever the amount is going to be, you know, maybe higher, maybe lower, hopefully higher. We would put that in our state, one of our savings accounts. And then after tax season, because I want to file as quickly as possible so we can move on with paying off debt. And we can just kind of like have this chilling until things are assuming we, I mean, I don't know it. I don't know what all is going to transpire. We might have to use that for taxes. Either way. I just want to see how much this is going to be. I know your thing. Your, yeah. So I just want to make sure we get through that. And let's say we do owe, we'll have money saved up to pay for it. Or in February, you know, if we need to put some more money with it. I don't really know. We just need to get through tax season. Tax season freaks me out now. Like now. It didn't when it was just me. But now that it's the both of us. And with all of the jobs and such and all of the forms that we have to wait on. But anyway, this past year will be a good, it will kind of let us know if we need to adjust anything for 2018 18, or whatever the case is. What do you think? 
Yeah. Okay. You have any questions? Comments? You think that's a good idea? What? To do this. Yeah. Or, well, I mean, even... So, so the goal is to put 5,000 towards student loans. 100%. No, not... not not my besides, yours. besides January because you got the trip and everything. Well, the goal is still five thousand. We just need to bring in some more money. The goal is going to yeah, remain five thousand. Yeah. Or you think we can do like four, and then also put a thousand to the side for taxes? Just well, because, that's not possible. Oh, I get what you're saying. And, no, and just I, until we find out how much it may, or I mean, I guess we can wait until we after should, we find out how much it is and then adjust. I mean, the money will just go into an account. It's not like it's going to be spent. If we need to use some of this to pay for our taxes, we're going to do that. But if we don't need to or whatever, then we will just proceed, dump all of this towards your student loans and go on back to what we were doing. Hopefully, you know, this will all be taken care of by February. Yeah. You know, in a perfect world, it will be taken care of by February. So I want to get it out the way for sure. But I think we should just put it to the side. How much? All of it. I mean, all of this should go to to the side. So, I mean, we'd still budget how we normally budget. I'd still do our weekly budgets. And, you know, whenever it's time to send money to our savings account, we will just do that and just kind of just wait until we file taxes and see how that's going to go down. Usually we put about, usually this is about five or six percent or something, or it's like six, I think. That's how I know that our income yeah, is down. Is down. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. Utilities, I don't do utilities. I shouldn't put, I don't think I should put cable and internet utilities, but I mean, I don't really pay close, to, mm. close attention to these. I only really pay attention to this one. Transportation. What's in lifestyle? All of that, all like the trip and everything. Allowance. Some months, like back in the day, this was like fifteen hundred, like in August and September and October, and November. This is so. This is actually not too bad. Doing sixty-one percent to debt. I'm trying to do seventy percent. My ultimate goal in life is. Well, not in life, but over the course of the time that it takes us to pay off debt, is to put eighty percent of our income towards the debt. Let's see. Oh well, I get. Mm -hmm. I think that's like an achievable goal. The good thing about well, paying off debt is kind of annoying. I don't like thoroughly enjoy it. I think he kind of likes it better than me. I don't really like I like budgeting. I don't really like the paying off debt part. I don't know. But the thing that we always have to keep in mind or that I have to keep in mind is that it's only temporary. So I mean, maybe another year of our life will be, you know, living like this and then you know, we don't have to worry about paying off student loans because they'll be paid off and then I mean, if somebody goes back to school, it would be cash flow because if we can pay $25,000 towards a debt in 6 months, Nearly twenty five. We can certainly cash flow somebody's college, but I don't. Think or we can cash flow somebody's four runner. He he wants a he wants a car. Um, he's been driving the same car for forever. I drive a nineteen ninety eight Toyota Camry. He does, and he's been driving that for forever, and he thinks he's getting a nicer car, which he might like later on down the line. You know, if you can afford it, if you can save up for it by yourself, then you can. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, so I'm finished around these parts. Are you? Because we're just kind of like... Yeah, and it's almost game time, so... Oh, you have a game. Oh, he has a game at one. Okay, well, bye. Falcon Saints. All right, so... Fighting for that playoff spot. This is a... <laughs> Please don't talk about football on my channel. I do not like... I despise football. I just want to throw that out there. Um, All right, well, it's about game time. If so. it weren't for football, I wouldn't have to pay a cable bill. Yeah, I could save $50 a month. But you're, they knew that already. You're then. really trying to use up these these fifteen minutes, huh? No. You're really trying to use I know this. I am kinda like you, you, at this point I might stalling. as well wait until you're we get stalling. to fifteen minutes and the video cuts you're off. Stalling. Yeah. All right. We're going. We're going. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye guys.